Well, chaps, we're back this time with Deseret in Victoria 3. That's right, we're playing as the Mormons. As the Mormons, we have a combined total GDP of 681 pounds and zero, zero population. I feel like we should, we have like 3,000, realistically. Not only that, everyone, 100% of our 3,000 people are animist and uh, indigenous North Americans. Apart from the one white dude who rules over the world, who is probably understandably a little bit disliked because he's Yankee and Dixie ruling over 3,000 indigenous people. Um, and I, I, I mean, I don't know how this 600, oh, wait, our GDP per capita is just one worldwide. He has 681 pounds. This is the richest man on earth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this man right here. So yeah, we're gonna see how far we can get in terms of Mormon imperialism, because I find that funny. Unfortunately, uh, we have to release ourselves from Mexico, so that's why our tech is so bad. Uh, we're still an independent state, but it means that we don't benefit from any of the, uh, the US-based stuff. So we're gonna start out researching that. It's been a while since I played Victoria 3, so I may well be a little bit rusty. However, I will give it my best shot. First and first, we're gonna improve relations with the United States and Great Britain. Let it take over a month, okay, so we can, or a week, sorry, so we can get ourselves going here. Our GDP is instantly plummeted, <laughs> plummeted. I'm assuming it's because he lost a couple of pounds and change. All right, how do we do this? We don't have an active interest in the Pacific coast, so we can't get any additional progress. Apart from the fact that we should have an interest in the Pacific coast because we exist there. Well, that's unfortunate. We don't want for anything. There are no people here. <laughs> what, the, what are we supposed to do? How do you play this game? What? What? At least we start with serfdom abolished, I guess. And actually some decent laws. Okay, do we have any natural resources? I mean, iron. It's not terrible. In fact, do we have logs? Okay, let's get some logging camps instead, actually. It's gonna take a year to build iron. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have to try and join the American market. Or the Mexican market. Preferably the American though. Okay, so we do have some colonial growth. Uh, we're gonna need to up that. Bureaucracy costs literally nothing for us right now. So we'll up our colonial growth to try and colonize Utah. So we'll take Utah. Join the American market, invade the Mexicans, and use that as a launch pad to go after, I think, Southeast Asia. My Christian missionaries have been all over the joint, right? That's kind of how I would play this. Well, usually they'd go to well, here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, well, we'll see. Maybe. Everyone's starving. What do you mean? Well, why? How are you starving? Meat, liquor, and gr Then tell me you're starving. What? Okay, let's just go, go back to basics. Let's just get some, some farms. If you're starving, it's really not like my fault, is it? it? Seems very much a you problem. So we have no taxation. Not that we're taxing people anyway, because you know no one lives there. I'm trying to make sure they don't starve. Like this man's been gambling on the uh, on the horses on the weekend. That's why his, the GDP went up. It's getting tent to agriculture. Not that we have any agriculture. Dude, I'm trying. I don't know what to do here. Okay, colonial affairs investment to level two. The hell did I do there? What happened? Ah, ah, hunger relief. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that's not good. Okay, holding down tab zooms out. That's cool. Oh. Yeah, what are the poor of the national economy? Oh, good. The hunger strikes. Are, the hunger struck gone. Because now we have some food. Oh, it's back down. Everyone's starving again. Good oh, Christ. What's going on over here? Find the great Sioux Nation. Okay, a little update. If I click this button, you should be able to spot what the update is. That's right. We're in the American market, which is great. Downside being, uh, we have 72% infrastructure. Nobody's to get more. And, uh, well, I mean, standard living is great. So we're actually pulling in some immigrants, just not as much as, uh, as, you know, Wyoming because of colonial resettlement and the fact that we're not a great power. So yeah, population is increasing just very, very, very slowly. I'm gonna build a steel mill. Cause here's my thinking, right? Steel is valuable. Steel is needed for an industrialized nation. Therefore, if I build it first, everyone will flock to my steel mills. That's right. I studied economics for a little bit, had a recent exam, don't want to brag about it, but you know, pretty confident. We're all gonna starve to death. <laughs> Something stuck in my throat. I think it's the thought that some people are watching this and aren't subscribed. <laughs> Dude, something stuck in my throat, <laughs> but you should still subscribe. <laughs> Basically, we need to chase down railways as soon as possible. We can take advantage of the American market and steal. You know, it's super cheap right now, but later on it'll be very useful. We are us and Sorbia. 
the poor man Serbia, which is ironic because it's Serbia. We produce, I was going to say the seventh most amount of steel, but by the time I got through counting, New Brunswick had taken us over with 11. So, eighth largest steel producer. I'm a businessman. I'm doing business. Let me eat some more ice. Honey, we can get the good stuff tonight. The good ice. It's not a healthy GDP. Yeah, we can't change anything until uh, until we have railways. Because if anything I build, it's going to be redundant right now. Doesn't mean we can chill a little bit and, uh, and do a quick Moroccan GDP check. Morocco, 2 million. That's a lot of GDP. But what's his GDP per capita? 0.58. Pitiful. This man, Auburn Chiles, who I hope isn't a real person. What a check. I'm about to mock him, so let me double. Let me make sure. Auburn Chiles. A stupid name. It appears my internet isn't working, so I'm going to search on my phone. Auburn Chiles. It's a Tex Mex restaurant. No, I didn't mean Auburn Chili. Well, Auburn Charles is dead, so I don't think it matters whether or not he's real. <laughs> we killed him. He's gone. We now have Quentin Pennybacker. Come on. He's hated. Oh, no. <laughs> Quentin Pennybacker. What a legend. Oh, man. What a wonderful name for a beautiful human. Let's go, my boy. All right, 26 months left of... Uh... Honest work deactivated. That's the instant impact that Penny Packer has on his constituents. <laughs> All honest work gone. It's disabled. We don't need that anymore. He's a businessman. You get a per capita taxation. Screw it, why not? Oh, because it's gonna be a revolution. The Liberal Party seems winning. Let's have a nice cup of ice. Okay, so apparently the Mormons have managed to go liberal. Liberal Mormons. Oh, radical Quentin Penny Packer, let's go. I ran out of ice. We have religious schools to convert more people to Mormonism. I don't actually know that much about uh, Mormonism, which is quite a scary thing to say on camera, because that means I have no clue whether or not it's okay to joke about certain things. My internet's down, so I, you know what? Let's check out Mormonism. Mormons. There are 6.5 million Mormons. There's 1.5 million in Mexico, 1.3 million in Brazil. This is a, this is quite a few. It says they also have a strict law of chastity requiring abstention from sexual relations outside heterosexual marriage. It doesn't say anything about homosexual marriage. I didn't read more to find out if they disallow it. So, that was obviously a joke. I'm assuming they do. That's where that joke ends. And that's where I get a message from the editor saying, is that okay to keep in? Honest answer? No idea. Again, I don't know enough about the Mormons. Do the Mor like, how much control do the Mormons have here? Am I about to be counseled by Mormonism? I'll be honest, if I wake up and I've been cancelled by Mormons, I, that would be an amusing day, to say the least. Oh, okay. It reported a membership of 16 million people. So if every Mormon subscribed right now... <laughs> oh, it's, you know what? It's good to be playing Victoria 3 again. Our GDP is schizophrenic, but that's fine. So is our leader. So <laughs> we're good. All right, and we've completed those tier ones. We've gone for railways. That's all done. All right, let's get the Mormons educated. Let's go for di dialectics. And let us construct ourselves a railway. It's going to take a year and a half. A slow burn is Mormonism. People seem to be refusing to work on a steel mill. But New Brunswick isn't producing as much steel. Sorbia, the backwards bastards. Is that not just Saxony? Why are you called Sorbia now? What happened to Saxony? Did you kill Saxony? I'm not going to... What that... Powell Krauk. I don't like your name, sir. Let's get out other names I don't like. Hang on, our railway is complete. Did that solve our problem? I believe it did. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on track. It's not of a workforce, but that's fine. It's gonna get rail transportation. This is the key part. A bit more logging camps. No one works here. <laughs> How can we have cash reserves? Not okay, don't build another one then. We need wood. Why are people not working in the logging camp? They wanted a wage of 55 pounds? I'll do it for 55 quid. What do you mean? 55 pounds? That's like 2,000 pounds. What about what? Is that like a, a yearly wage? A monthly wage? A daily wage? I assume it's a weekly wage. It's probably not a weekly wage. I mean, that's a lot of money. Like, don't be an idiot. Half tempted to ask the editor to, to cut that out because a weekly wage of 2,000 pounds would be. I'm in hell. <laughs> if anyone wants to hire me for 2,000 pounds a week, chaps. <laughs> To cut logs. I mean, I'm down if you've got any openings. Okay, here's my thinking. We need more people in the coastline. If only there was a nation close by that we could fight for those things. There are definitely some Mormons in Mexico. 
it, there's alliteration, so it has to be true. That's why I believe everything Asbo says. The Americans are on our side, and they're fearful. So I've added all this stuff to the primary, so if they back down, they give it to us. Fortunately, he seems to put all of his troops in the American border instead of, you know, my border. So there is no combat happening on my border whatsoever. All right, we're fighting. I'm very much betting the Americans can beat the Mexicans. And I would be correct. Ah, oh, and the, push, the Americans are pushing onto my side. Sweet. Good job. Thanks, America. Appreciate it. Yeah, this has gone remarkably well. This is actually quite satisfying. Just sort of sit back, let the AI do the work. Ah, oh, rest for a second. I haven't taken a holiday in some time. This is like a little holiday. Oh, I should, I, I might actually fall asleep. <laughs> I'm very sleep deprived. I should, I should not close my eyes. That would be a very bad idea. Mexico. You surrender now. <laughs> I'm bored. This is just how far, like the Americans are just walking in. There's, there's no one stopping them. Oh, they'd accept. All right, let's do that. Excellent. So we take all that land, which we need. Our population is now 300,000. And we now have even more people that we rule over that we don't share a faith or a culture with. This thing to incorporate this land's going to take 20 years. Still make money though. Ah, oh, gold mine, sweet. 100% tax waste. Well, fortunately for us, we subsist purely off of diplomatic pacts right now. Specifically, the Mexican war operations. That's right, we fought the Mexicans and made the Mexicans pay for it. So we actually need to take advantage of that whilst we have the chance. It's got a construction sector going down here. A railway going over there. Oh, where'd I put that? Nevada? Why oh, are there no people anywhere? Okay, let's put one in California, not Nevada then. Or Arizona, wherever. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Bunch of resources now, we just need coal. I suppose the other Americans have. Our GDP is just skyrocketed. Nice. So who lives where? They seem very angry at me. 80,000 people, 176,000, 20k. So everyone lives here, which is good. Okay, we make too much money. We need more construction sectors. Our GDP is almost caught up to the Moroccan GDP. This is good to see. <laughs> Revolutionary train core. Go on, lads. You got this. All right, we have no gold fields, but that means that we can create gold mines. Let's say Russia was domineering towards the Mormons, Russia. Really? All right, interventionism. Wonderful. There's an engine shortage and a transportation shortage in the American market. Well, you can fix all of those. All right, Utah has been completed, in terms of the colony at least. So, so that's nice. We found our home, boys. Well, there's half of our home anyway. Arizona is the only uh, state that I have left in turmoil. It's a little bit surprising given they have a very high standard of living. Their minimum expected is starving. They expect to starve and instead they're wearing top hats and they're like, this kind of sucks. This man has a book. <laughs> this man doesn't look like he's ever seen a book in his life. And yet he's richer than the man with the, nope, the man with the book has a lot of money, which is not something that could be said for us. What happened to our cash? Ah, the Mexican war operations run out. The next day. Okay, I've been sitting here creating gold mines, uh, but we're in a bit of a weird place with our uh, country. Uh, we still got nine years left of incorporation. Uh, we don't really have too many actual Laborers, like despite the fact we have a population of about 438,000 over here, uh, not any of them are like eligible for some reason. I don't know. If, I think this tooltip has to be wrong, surely. Because probably we only have 129 peasants here, which feels wrong considering, you know, Cali California. But apparently all of them are laborers, so they're all already all employed. And also the menu keeps on resetting upwards. It's very frustrating. But they're all laborers. So what does that mean? Where are you, where are you laboring? In the gold fields, the wheat farms, railway. The, okay, I can't even check it. The tools are because he's jumping up every time. But yeah, we're on the highest possible government wages, the lowest possible taxation level, and I keep on earning money. It's very frustrating. Because also I'd love to declare war on uh, Mexico, and go for that again, but uh, I, I can't because we don't have an interest there. Look how much goddamn money we make. All right, I'm gonna keep building in California and we're just gonna see what happens. Yeah, we don't have enough people. I don't understand this. We must all be in the gold fields or something, on the wheat farms or somewhere. All right, let me give you a little bit of an update. Not much has happened, chaps. That's why it's been a long period of time without uh, any commentary. I'm just now, I've just now incorporated, well, about to have incorporated everything, so we'll hold on for that. Uh, we're finally getting actual workers in, which is also quite nice. So, well, occasionally, uh, despite having a population of, what, one point something million? Um, yeah, we've got open borders, and so people tend to just be flooding in from the US. We have quite a few immigrants per week. Uh, <laughs> the shit can't be moving. Christ. Unfortunately, we have a really high standard of living, um, and then uh, they get upset. So despite the fact they expect to be struggling, the fact that they're some of the richest people on the planet, 
literally we're the number one GDP worldwide by uh, some decent margin. Uh, you might think, Leith, what a brilliant set of, uh, of policies that you put in place. Clearly, this is your genius. And I would say, yes, it is my genius to just build a bunch of gold mines. That's that's literally what I've all I've been doing. I'm so good at building gold mines. I've got five out of four over here. That's how, that's how many gold mines I produce. So yeah, our, our economy is pretty much exclusively minting. Taxes don't really come into play. But to be fair, I could I could up the taxes. I'm gonna up the taxes. I've up the taxes. And after 20 long years, it's literally been 20 years. I've not been able to move at all. 20 long years, and these are about to be incorporated, which actually isn't good because we get a lot of market um, uh, attraction through them not being incorporated states. They get plus 50% uh, migration attraction. So that's gonna go, unfortunately. Oh, there you go, the gold fields, which is fine because then I can just build gold mines. So yeah, as for the rest of the world, literally nothing has happened. <laughs> We're back to the old days where, I mean, this is the most passive Europe I've ever seen. We've got Scandinavia forming, which is cool. But other than that, no one has done anything. Uh, I suppose Italy's formed. Quick Moroccan GDP check shows it's a bit 4.15 million. The Tunisians uh, had their collapse after the Ottomans and have recently uh, increased in, in stature. The Ottomans have lost their star, so that sucks for them. Meanwhile, we've risen to number 30 in our rank, which is good. We now have property women, which is going to be useful because we need as many people in the workforce as possible. Of course, we have a decently sized uh, population, and we need it to be a lot bigger. And everything's from gold. I really want to, like, Nevada just produces transportation. That's their entire export. Now, I have been building a naval base such that we're able to try and uh, get this, some uh, declared interest, but that's going to be a while. Start building an army as well. Russia demands we become the protectorate. Hmm, that would mean we leave the American market. And if Sax Meningen isn't going to do it, then I'm not going to do it. Like, Prussia, you got to do something, man. I genuinely thought that the AI was off, but they purely do send me offers like that, so it can't be off. They're just, just no one's doing anything. It's really frustrating. <laughs> I mean, Australia's uh, forming, and so is Canada. But aside from that, there's been no wars in Europe, like none, absolutely none. America's not gone after Mexico, it's, it's ridiculous. Goldman discovered in Arizona, brilliant. Just need more people, man. And I can collect them from Mexico. They've got 10 million people there. I can just nick them. But no, I don't have any declared interest. So I can't do anything. And like, I can't, I can't get any declared interest without people. How much gold is here? 73,000 people could just work in a gold field. A road maintenance, let's instead go green grass everywhere. 0.4 from naval base, I need, need more. Their prestige becomes at least 84, so I need to increase my prestige by like eight. How can I do that? Gold has been discovered, oil has been discovered in Utah. Okay, we're just natural resources, that's all we have. Wait, is that his Utah or my Utah? His Utah? Oh, that's, that's upsetting. How much do I need now? I need two more prestige and then I can get a stupid uh, declared interest. <gasps> Finally. Declared interest in Mexico. Finally. My God, I've waited 25 years for this. Oh, Christ. Okay, we can fight the Mexicans. Okay, it's us and the Americans versus the Russians and the Mexicans. I feel pretty confident about this. The Russians want to subjugate me. Shocking. More gold in Utah. But is that our side of things or is that... Oh, it's oil. We've got some oil rigs now. Perfect. All right. The Russians have put up sort of staunch resistance. So it should be fine. And now the Russians have gone with sort of bolts through. Led by Horace Chaffee. More gold in California. Horace, what are you doing, mate? Just, just go here and go like drive this way. There you go. Good job, Horace. All right, they'll accept. There we go. Adds a bunch more territory and uh, quadruple our population. So that's useful. I'm not sure what the hell just happened to skyrocket our government wages to oh, minus 100k. Construction, university, government administration, oh, start charging high taxes. Why am I subsidizing maize and wheat farms? That's better. A couple of clicks and we fixed our economy. Most importantly though, we have a population that we can actually put to work. It's gonna build all of the like necessities for a functioning modern state in this one province. And we'll see how we get on. Meanwhile, there is an Aboriginal uprising in uh, in Australia. That's new. I mean, they're losing, but that, that's definitely new. Oh, and we have a war, finally. Oh, several. Britain versus Russia. Russia wants Gujarat. And to puppet Belgium. Britain wants Russian war apps. Britain not confident at all. Interesting, okay. What's Prussia want? Prussia is also going to be fighting Russia. They want to puppet the Hon 
Hola hosens. Are they a Russian puppet? No, they just owe an obligation to the Russians because they joined in. Interesting. And they're fighting both of them. Okay. Can't imagine getting it too far with Gujarat. But power to you. And support more declared interests. Beautiful. That's the Dutch East Indies. I was going to... The entire time, I just wanted to colonize this. Just that. Oh, all the good places are taken. All right, well, in order to get severe malaria prevention, we need to have a bunch of universities. So let's get them. Because our uncapped um, innovation is 160. I think we're using about 80 of that. The United States have colonized Eton Guinea. How much oil would I need? 15 more oil in total. Kind of want to get an oil rig and start doing that. Oh, it's not everything though. My, uh, I'm close to my hometown has been taken over by the French. It's not a sentence you really want to hear. Thinking if I can get malaria prevention faster than everyone else, I can go and colonize like down here again faster than everyone else. So we're gonna go for South Africa. We're gonna try and beat the French and the Europeans to establish Mormon colonies across Africa. Oil's been discovered in Eastern New Guinea. Well, it makes sense why the Americans are here. Okay, so far so good on the malaria prevention front. We've doubled our um, output in terms of our technology cap. It was already pretty good, but now it's uh, pretty amazing. Uh, and now in 20 months time, we should have malaria prevention, which should be ahead of everyone else. These Mormons are built different. It was time to declare one of the medicines again, so let's start actually sorting our economy a little bit. I've burnt through more of my reserves than I was anticipating to. And were they able to conquer Gujarat? Does not appear so. The Russians lost, which means the British GDP should be skyrocketing right now. Yeah, because they've got the Russian uh, income flooding their, flooding their coffers at the same time. Right, one more year and we fight the Mexicans once more. US GDP is 80 million. I'm starting to think how we can maybe contest that. I think genuinely once we've got the uh, Mexican uh, people under our control, we should be able to leverage a decent enough workforce. Well, the US Army's not that big. The, I mean, the well, the garrisons are pretty good. But again, the tech advantage we should have should carry us. Oh, they, they actually sorted out the borders. That was unexpected. Usually they never do that. And Persia's getting invaded by the British. Okay, so now we're actually seeing some action. Took a while. And France is... That's not a treaty port. That's a whole ass province. Okay, France. Okay, France. I see you. Sure. I respect it. You just saw a town full of how many millions? 8.8 .8 million people and thought, yeah, I'll take that. There we go. Antibiotics has been removed. Should mean... Yeah. Look at that. And then we'll get electricity. We should help our people. All right, let's get someone in the Mexican HQ. All right, let's prepare for war. I think it's nine months or eight months left on this thing here. Six months, okay. Well, I don't know how long it's gonna take for things to take up, but it should be enough. All right, let's step to the Mexicans. Doesn't appear that the US wants to get involved this time, which is fine. Okay, I'm not sure how we're forcing that through, but we'll, we'll take it. Really not sure how we're forcing that through. Oh, it's because we have double the number. Okay, that makes sense. Just an honorable 1v1. Well, technically 1v3, but I, I don't really count uh honduras and guatemala as states oh el salvador my bad even in the modern day i just i don't believe him it's like the state of finland you know how can you be sure it exists we don't it's gonna be so much better of a game when you figure out how to stop this from happening oh for god's sake yeah they just invaded into my territory because the front line split even though it was one singular front line up until this point but now suddenly it's too <laughs> anyway you don't really want to listen to me moan about front lines for god knows how long okay fortunately they'll peace out for everything uh, which is good, because they are about to maul me and push through. Because we have no troops here. That's useful. All right. We now have 10 million people. I'm going to start working on our military a bit more. Our navy's already a bit <laughs> nothing. But that's fine. Fortunately, colonies are going to be super fast now. Teaming sure permanently. I'll take that. 25% traction. I should have coal mines here. That's really, really useful. And that's our economy fixed. <laughs> what you have to do is start taxing your people. Who knew? Well, who's going off? Is that the French? Oh, there's the French. Yeah, the French have taken another step. Oh, no, it's the United States of America. My bad. Cheeky US uh, annexation of another 8 million people from China. All right. Things are heating up in the world. Quick Moroccan GDP check. Morocco. 5 million GDP. Tunis with... Uh, f All right, Tunis. Next time, buddy. You got this. I don't actually need to be taxing my people that much. Every other day I change the tax law to suit our immediate situation. I, I can't imagine that's healthy on people's mental health. Let's get you making steamships and then I can go over here. Some ironclads. Go over to my fishing. Where are you? I think I've barely any fishing ones anyway. Fishing wharves, get you on steam trawlers. Okay, now that's sorted. Let's go over to our sawmills. Do that. All right, time to spam out units. I'm gonna militarize this nation. It's time for the Mormons to discover guns. 
doesn't cost a lot of money, but fortunately we have a lot of money thanks to our gold mines. The second they deplete, we're done. <laughs> but for now, we're okay. Speaking of, let's just chuck four gold mines in there for fun. Oh no, Mormon Rodish tools makes code tier by 30. Damn, that's crazy. Anyway, I can support even more declared interest. I've got 10 of them to find China, I guess. With the number one producer of electricity and gold. <laughs> Mormon Heroland is now complete. Excellent. Let's keep colonizing chaps. Oh, and we're now uh, part of the ground for Africa. Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? Oh, just about. Good job, chaps. And with that, we get our place in the sun. Scramble for Africa has been completed. We have our, we have our colonial empire. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. All right, it's time for us to ruin our own economy because we're gonna go after the United States of America. Key players. Okay, separating from the American market has made us uh, into a great power. And I was planning on just simply attacking them, and then I realized we'd have no in industry to attack them with. So I'm now desperately trying to get as much iron as possible. Which of the trade routes are coming in. Their iron's good. I need lead. I should be doing the maths on all this, but I'm I'm not. Because I, I don't want to. All right, I think it's time. We go after Utah. Mormons are claiming their full home, chaps. Bringing the Brits. I wish he was in some sort of order. All right, and off to where we go. Yeah, something about uh, the fact that I'm using trench infantry to his line infantry means that I think we're gonna be okay. We've actually overtaken the US in uh, <laughs> in great power ranking. And we'll do a cheeky naval invasion, because why not? He's actually gonna land. <laughs> American liberal revolt. I think that's a good thing for me. Head into the capital because I'm not at war with the United States. I'm, do I, have I still occupied this? Oh, well, I have still occupied this. They just can't liberate their own capital. Yeah, they got no troops left. <laughs> I've turned from a hard slog of a war into, well, whatever this is. And there we go. I think we've definitively proved ourselves, even though the borders are horrible. There are rank three great power. We have a colonial empire. And, well, uh, we're bigger than the United States of America. I count that as a massive success. And so that is where we'll leave it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed uh, the fact that Victoria 3 is... Uh, back on the channel for a little bit. There is a new DLC upcoming that I'll probably be covering. So if that's something you want to see, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know if that is in if I am right and that is indeed the case that you want to see that. Otherwise, we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JadeOw52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. Your support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.